That's better. Meow. Hey, what's going on? I'm Charlie here. <laughs> I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. Very special uh, episode today. Today is our second go in to the Caskers World of Whiskey Club. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Help us out. We're trying to get to 300. And we are... Uh, we're doing all things whiskey related. If you're wondering why it took us so long between the first box and the second box, Close. it's because they forgot about us. Quasi. This they only do it every three months, um, and then they uh, were supposed to ship it like a month ago, and they sent us an email saying, "Hey, it's on its way." And then two weeks later, eh, they didn't send it. So it's getting a while to get here, but we are getting here. Uh, Hopefully, it is worth the wait. We'll yep. see. I do not know what's in here. Charlie does. Yeah, Casters.com. They're online internet liquor store and they have a uh, world of whiskey club and they have an american whiskey club and uh every three months they have a ton of popcorn in here so yes i know it's in here gene does not and i don't really want to make a mess everywhere so we'll be gently getting out of the heavy oh it's two bottles at one you know ha <laughs> ha that's the Hallelujah, it's made of popcorn. This is a unique way to package it. I'll tell you what. So, uh, yeah, Caster.com, you can check them out. Um, it is $168. I'll check here in a second. $168, I think, for. Um, can I help you do something? Nope. It's just, they like to use tape. They love tape. So, here we got. A what should we call it? You're supposed to be talking now, so Oh, I'm just I'm trying to watch you um undo it so that I can see what it is. Like I said, I have no idea. Uh, this is Kilbegan Irish Pot Still Single Ooh, Pot Still Irish, Irish Whiskey. Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey. Um this is a 43 ABV. Um and this is Kilbegan Kilbegan. Um this is a special release. And on all Kilbegan special releases, they do not release an age statement. So this is a non-age stated uh, Irish whiskey. Are we trying this one first? Yeah, we're gonna try that one first. Okay. Um, and this has a unique mash. Now Kilbegan has um, all their, pretty much all their mashes are a blend of malted and unmalted barley, but in this bad boy, they did that and then they added 2.5% of the mash is oats. 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 Huh. oats. They added nice cork pop. They nice. added uh, oats to you at one or two. You're getting two. two. Uh, there is a little bit of a difference, not a ton, but a little bit of difference in the second pour versus the first pour and the next pour we have discovered. Um, so this is going to be our first go in to this pot still. And Kilbegan is the first uh, Irish distillery open. In like a hundred years, opened in 2007, I believe. Oh, huh, okay. So, so when I think of Irish whiskeys, I think of like the a floral and vanilla, heavy, yep. heavy, both floral and vanilla. I agree with that. This has those two things, but there's something else Ooh, in there. Ooh, that is. Uh, um, first thing that came to my mind is I'm walking through a garden, and a fresh tomato. Maybe ginger. Maybe this is a little bit. Of yes. Ginger. There's a lot of ginger, actually. Mm -hmm. Ginger, um, it's opening up very quickly, very nicely. A touch of 7-Up, uh, so a touch of lemon and lime. Lemon, lime, and ginger. Yeah. But it's you still, need. you still have, I, I can still get the vanilla and the floral. It's not a lavender floral, though. And I usually see the color green when I drink an Irish. For whatever reason. Really? Yeah. I see the color green when I drink a rye. Rye, you know. And a lot of times with rye, I'll see yellow. Huh. Figure it out. Memory sensitivity or memory sensory perception. Uh, anyway, I'm going to have it going. Oh, maybe a little bit of orange? Hmm. What? It opens up very underwhelming. Man, like this is, is this even a 40? Huh. Um, but then the mid palette, yeah, mid palette ramps up to like this weird. Um, I'm about to go back in. So you swallow it, right? And you're like, oh, well, it's really creamy. Of yeah. course, everything is creamy, but then the flavors like run back out at you. And that is something I don't think I've ever experienced. Interesting. You know? Mm -hmm. It's like they just climb out, climb back up the throat, and then cover the tongue. 
Yeah, it does it on the second pour too. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's whiskey. And then boom, shoots up like an escalator on high speed. Um, so <laughs> I get notes of, I'm getting some vegetable notes. Um, like a cooked potato, um, a little sauteed onion in there. Hmm. I'm getting some weird notes. Um, or the, the aftertaste, the aftertaste, I keep saying that, the finish is like a dried orange for me. Dried orange, yeah. Uh, but I, I have like those light- Ginger. Ginger, there's a lot of ginger in yeah. here. Um, but some of those light fruits, like the pears and the apples. Um, maybe a red grape, not a green grape. Okay, I can see all that. Um, maybe a, a touch of dry or stale honey. Um, it, it does have a creamy mouthfeel that ramps up in the mid palate, and this transitions a ton just inside your mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, on the back of my tongue is still like a, like a carbonation sort of a poppy on the back of my tongue. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, now it's been probably what, 60 seconds since I've drank. Um, it's trenchant now. Now i got a little bit of cotton mouth going on. Mm. Mm. Better take another drink then. Better. <laughs> That's how they get you. Water opens it up on the nose. Some spearmint, some some uh, mint leaves, rather than actually spearmint, or they more of a mint leaves like you're walking through a garden and you got mint in your garden. Uh, mandarinian orange. What? And now what it's called? You trying to say Mandalorian orange? No. Okay, it must be Mandarin orange. I'm sure, it's not the Mandalorian. It's not a Mandalorian. No. <laughs> Uh uh. Okay. All right. You do you. I'm not getting that. Maybe some apricot. Mm hmm. And I'm used to Irish being. See, there's that unique note. It's like roasted ginger, is the best way I could probably describe that. Roasted ginger for the mid palate. It sticks up on you on every single dram. Mm. It drinks at or under. Um, it's ABV, which is, I believe I did say, uh, 43, 43, so so 86 proof. And this feels like a 750. I'm guessing this is a 750. It yeah, is. 750. It's got the shape. I can read it because you're holding it way over there. It's got the shape oh, of a, <laughs> very similar to a Balcones bottle. Mm -hmm. Balcones is a little taller, but pretty much the same shape. A little well, fatter. because the cap's on it. Take the cap off. I mean, it hurt. So pretty much about Cody's bottle. <laughs> so interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, off to the next one. Are we scoring these individually, or are we scoring overall? Um, I we yeah, give give it a score. Um, just we have to write it down. What do you think our score is going to be? Real quick, pause it if you need to. Write down real quick. What do you think our score is going to be? Um. Mm. 87, what'd you do, Gene? I did an 88. 88. Because I, just because it's that unique uh, climbing back out you. Yeah. It's, it's very unique. It is very unique. What are you doing? I'm needing this. You keep it over there away from me, and I need it. You need, you need. I need you now. More than was to say, I need you now. You have to find a way. Before I lose my mind, I'm gonna give that to you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, we'll leave links down in the. What are you doing? Popping. No, no, no. Popping and rocking. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> well, I'm just murdering the bottles. All I'm doing. So, Ooh. casters, here's my here's my thing for you. Um, maybe don't wrap up on the bottleneck. Well, they want it to make it in one piece. I mean, we did have that. The whole yeah, but they have barrel proof problem where they kept sending it in broken bottles. Yeah. Uh, woo! Look at that bad boy. That's a pretty little bottle. Ooh. So this is the Dalmore uh, 15 year Highland single malt Scotch whiskey. I want to touch it. <laughs> That's what she said. I touch it. Uh, I'll let you open that. All right. Um, so this is the Dalmore uh, 15 year old, and the Dalmore as a unique aging process for this bottle. So the first 12 years of its life, it's spent in X bourbon casks. 
and then they put it into three different barrels over the next three years. I'm going to murder the pronunciations, uh, but they, they're all three sherry casks. So year 13, it went to an Apostles. Uh, year 14, uh, a type of Oloroso. We'll put it down here what exactly what it is. But I remember the, the pronunciation of all of them. And then an Amoroso for the for the 15th year. So last the first 12 years, ex bourbon cast. Next three years, a different type of sherry cast. So it went through four different barrels before it got to us. Hmm. What's the ABV? Leave it off. Uh, ABV on this is, I believe it's 46. It should say on there somewhere you would believe. It's got the little UPC code back here. Her That's little, nice. What do you call it? QR code? Uh, that's a 40. It's a 40. 40, okay. So, 80 proof. What do you get on the nose there, Jean Marie? Oh, that's weird. Is it now? Well, see, I was kind of expecting this to be either a caramel or a sherry bomb. That is unique. Uh, I'm get. <laughs> we had this on something more recently, but my first note is, uh, it's 1955 and your grandma's gonna go get a permanent. <laughs> We had that on something else recently too. Okay, yeah, I, I get the perm the permanent and the. Um, but that sherry is what that is. Some, sometimes I'll get that permanent smell from sherry, but that is the sherry note. That's it. All, I only get that on sherries. But that is. There's, um, there's like a, a mold issue going on on your sherry. It's, it's musty. It's mu musty. Yeah, it's musty, but it, it, it's already opening up. Yeah, it's getting there. So. I guess I can leave the cork off of both of these. And I, I do like to leave the cork off the bottles because it does allow it to oxidize a little bit and open up a little bit as it sits inside the bottle. I can't describe this very well. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's got that, it's a permanent smell, it's musty, it's got that sherry, um, uh, astringent, um, kind of like you have a bowl of cherries that uh, you let sit and are now fermenting and turning into alcohol. I would say orange over cherries okay I'm, orange I'm is mandarin it. orange a hint of i'm gonna actually get a hint of milk chocolate on this oh okay kind of like to get a box of chocolates and you got the sherry one and the orange one there's some milk chocolate wrapped up around this well i was going more like a glass of milk chocolate would that be a glass of chocolate milk yes <laughs> or you just get a glass and just pour a bunch of chocolates in there. <laughs> Maybe you can drink. However you want to say it. Now, has that ever been done? Has anybody ever taken a like a twenty dollars drinking glass, pile it full of chocolates, and then poured milk in there, and let it all sit and nice and melt? I'm sure that's been done. Hmm. Huh. No, I really kind of want to try that. The dog wants to try it. Dog, you need to figure it out. Our dog's barking. So what we do is when we push record. We shut everything so the dog can't see outside barking at people running past the house. Yeah, he likes us to know when there's anybody in front of the house walking by, driving by. He doesn't. There's a bird. He doesn't like people. Anything really. Or dogs, squirrels, rabbits, birds. He likes. He, he likes to chew them all. There's some kind of a baking spice in here, but it's it's nutmeg. A, nutmeg. Nutmeg. Good call. So, as soon as you said that, nutmeg. But yeah, it's uh, I'm trying to think what else we had that I got that note on. One the Avalor, one swing. I don't remember what it was, but no. I'm gonna have a go in. Have a go in. I'm still really confused on my nose here. What kind of face is that? I guess I'll find out. Opens up with exactly what you're nosing. Transitions to chocolate mint palette. And the finish is a nutmeg, it's an almond, mm. an orange, it's a raisin, heavy raisin. It transitions a lot as, as it finishes. It's, it's a heavy wood for me. Um, okay, yeah. I get a lot of wet wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I 100% I see that. But let's have four different casks over a 15 year period. Mm. So 12 is going to get the shit. I expected more caramel and bourbon notes since it was 12 years at the next bourbon cask. But I definitely get the different sherry notes, but I would like to have it's three different sherry types of sherry casts. I would like to know what tasty notes gets it gets it obtained from each type of cask. This to me, mm. as it is it, it like a it's it rained and it's a hot summer day and you're out on a wood deck 
and for some reason you put your tongue on a wood deck and you just lick the wood. So that's that's what it is to yeah. me. Yeah. It's very, very woody. One thing that's neat about Casker's World of Whiskey Club is they keep sending us uh, whiskeys that we would not buy ourselves. Um, the, I don't think I'd buy other one of those because we shop by ABV, especially this one. So if it's a 40, she's probably not going to buy it. I'm going to overlook it. Be yeah. like, eh, it's a 40. Not worth my time. Now, last time we got the Avalor and the Red Breast 12. There's something unique about the Red Breast 12. I forget what it is now. It's just sitting here off camera to, to our right. Uh, but I go to those all the time. Well, I go to the Avalor more than I go to the Red Breast. The Avalor is a 16 year. Mm -hmm. But I really like the Avalor. I don't know how well I like this Dalmore right now. I, I am disappointed in it. Um, a drop of water brought out a little bit of, a little bit more cherry notes, but now it's just a cherry wood for me. But I just, for me, this is, it could just be the next pour normally. Um, That's true. You know, we can come back to this and be like, huh, I, I, I like it now. Um, right now though, I'm kind of on the fence. Do I? Do yep. I like it or not? Well, we all do, Gene. Next time we get a delivery from Caskers, because we'll, we'll, we'll keep it going, we'll do one more delivery at least. Uh, but next time we got to do is we want to get all four of them the, the Red Breast, the, the Avalor, the Dalmore, and the Kilbegan. Line them all four up and rank them blind which one we like the best. And see how well they've had time to sit at that point, they've had time to open up. Do we Did water do anything for you? No. Nose or palate? Uh, no. No. Um, what do you think my score is going to be on this? Pause if you need to. Write I mean, it down real quick. For me, though, the, the water, man, I just get a lot of wood. Uh, it did make it a, just a little bit more smooth, but that finish is just so woody. Just woody for me. It's a woody woodpecker. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I don't know if you like heavy wood, then. Which, which gene, which bottle do you think is more expensive? Um, going off of just the looks of the bottle alone, I would go with the Dalmore. Mm -hmm. Dalmore, 120. 120? 120 dollars. Kilbegan, 55. We, I pay 167 for both. 85. What'd you do? I did an 86. Okay. Uh, yeah, 120 for this. <laughs> that was a great look <laughs> on your face, by the way. And 55 for Kilbegan, so slightly more. There's a few dollars more than what I pay. What is on my leg? Oh, that's me. No. Uh, what kind of shoes are you wearing? I got slippers on. Oh, good lord. It's cold in here. I thought that felt some sort of cushion, like a pillow wrapping them on it. It's my it's slippers. Not a spider. What is that? <laughs> um, yeah, 120. So a few dollars more than what we pay. We pay. I pay 165. Okay. So a few bucks more. Um, 175 total for these bottles. Um, I'm gonna say worth it, not worth it. Yes. Do you agree? Uh, I would even go so far as to say that 55 on this, is that mm -hmm. what you said it was? Mm -hmm. Is maybe a little bit too much. No. Um, but uh, this definitely, well, and like I said, maybe it'll be great the second time around. But right now, I have just too much wood in my mouth. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give it to you on that one as well. I'm gonna say $40. Yeah. It's a 15 year, I don't know. I'd say this is worth 40 at least, because now I'm getting cinnamon on it. Oh, did you go back to that one? Yeah, just to see. Yeah, well, I, anything's I, gonna yeah, taste great after this. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we don't love this, but uh, we will do that next time Casters comes back out with a new box. It's every three months. Mm -hmm. So it's 165 every every three months. Um, we'll do a blind of all four next time. We'll see what happens. Before unboxing. And I'll, I'll say it to next. I'll say that to next episode. I was gonna make an announcement, but that you don't know about. But I'll do it next episode. Well, now I'm curious. Now you should be curious. <laughs> you don't even know. Um, no. Don't even know. Uh, I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>